before we begin, I just want to remind everyone, especially if this is your first time, that yoga is supposed to be fun. And it'll feel stretchy in your body, it'll have you feeling like you have a lot of energy, but if it feels ouch, if all of a sudden you go, oh, my knee hurts, or something doesn't feel right, just take a break. So stop doing the pose. You can sit crisscross applesauce. You can also go into child's pose or quiet mouse. That looks like this. And that's a really great pose to rest in. And then when you feel better, you can jump right back in. And I also want to remind everyone that all of our bodies are different. Some of us are tall. Some of us are smaller. Some of us are bigger. Whatever your body looks like, it's probably going to look different from mine. So your poses are going to look different as well. And that's perfectly fine. If I'm doing something, you go, my body doesn't bend that way. Just do something that feels like it looks like what I'm doing, and that's all that you need to do. Or make up your own pose and have fun with it. So just don't think that if your pose doesn't look like mine, you're doing something wrong. You're just doing whatever's right for your body, and I'm doing what's right for mine. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, if you have a mat, go ahead and roll it out. Otherwise, you can do this outside in the grass. is really fun, especially this time of year. You could do it on the carpet. You could do it on a beach towel. Grab whatever you need. And then we'll get ready to go. So this class I called Summertime Joy because summer is a great time to have fun and play outdoors and see our friends. And right now when we're doing this actual class, we might all be in different points of summer. Maybe some of us are still finishing out our school year. We might be doing tests before the end of the year. We might be having our fun days where we're having water days and outside time with our teachers. Some of us might have already been on summer break for a while now because Everybody, everybody's school and everything does things at different times. So I thought we'd just have a summary yoga class where we could all celebrate summer together. So the very first thing we're gonna do is do a little bit of breathing. So we're gonna start with our deep belly breaths. So take your hands, put them on your belly and you breathe in and you wanna send the air all the way down to your belly. So if you look when I'm sitting, you actually see my hands and my arms move out and that's how I know that the air is getting all the way down there. So breathe in and let it out. Let's do one more, good job. Breathe in and let it out. Nice work. All right, so today we're gonna do a special breath called a five finger breath. And, or you can even call it a high five breath if you want, or a take five breath, it's got a lot of different names. We're gonna hold up one hand, either hand, and we're going to touch each finger, and I'm going to give you a little suggestion of something to think about, and we're going to breathe in and breathe out, okay? So, the first thing I want you to think about is think about an old friend that you got to see this year. Could be someone that's actually old, but what I mean more is think of a friend that maybe you didn't get to see as much over the summer last year, and then all of a sudden you saw them in your class, or you had a sports activity with them, and you were so happy to see them again. So we're going to think about that friend. Take our pointer finger, touch it through our thumb, breathe in. Think of that friend, and as you breathe out, think of all the happiness they bring you. Great job. Now we're going to touch our pointer finger to our other pointer finger, and we're going to think of a new friend or a new person we met this year. Maybe it's a new friend, maybe it was a teacher who was really helpful and kind. Anyone that's new that you met today that brought you some happiness and joy, think of them. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. Nice job. Now as we think about the year, think about a challenge that you had. Maybe it was something like learning to ride a bike. Maybe you were having trouble with math in school or reading. Whatever it was, think of a challenge and then think of how you worked uh, to overcome that challenge. Or maybe you didn't all the way. Maybe you got better at math or you got some help, but you're still struggling in some areas. And that's good too. Just think of how you had a challenge and what you did to try to make it better. So we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Nice job. Now we're gonna touch our fourth finger. And I want you to think of something you learned this past year. What did you learn? Maybe you learned to ride the bike or you learned math. Maybe you got better at spelling. Maybe you learned how to um, score more goals at soccer, whatever it might be. Think about something you learned that you feel really proud of and that you accomplished something. So we're gonna breathe in and think of it. And then as we breathe out, feel that pride and accomplishment of having learned that. 
Nice job. And then the pinky finger, this is the most fun one, I think. Let's think of something that we are going to do this summer. Maybe we're going to go to the beach. Maybe we're going to go visit a relative we haven't seen in a while. Maybe an amusement park or maybe just chalking in our backyard and having a water day. Whatever it is that's really fun that you can't wait to do. Think of that in your head and breathe in. And then let it all out and imagine all the fun you're having. Nice work. That is a really great breath that you can do anytime. And you can make all those fingers anything. You can think of five different friends. You can think of five ways someone was kind or you were kind. And it just helps us to breathe in, breathe out, and feel all the happiness that those things brought us. All right. So we warmed up our breath. We talked about safety. Now we're going to warm up our bodies a little. And I thought we'd do it with a silly song. You might know this song from music class or somewhere else, or you might not. So we're going to sing it a few times through. All right, and you can always stay sitting if you want and just do the motions along with us. But if it's available to you today, go ahead and stand up. And it goes like this. The noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway there, you're neither up nor down. Good job. Okay, so we're going to sing it again. And hopefully you caught on and you can do the motions or you can sing the words along with me, all right? The noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway there, you're neither up nor down. Okay, we did it two times. Are you ready to try it one more time? Super fast, like as fast as we can. See if you can beat me on the video, okay? The noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway there, you're neither up nor down. Good job. So now we were singing. We were breathing, we got our bodies moving. I thought we would try a really fun summery flow. And we're gonna all go where it's summer all the time. We're gonna go to Hawaii together, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna come sit down on our mats. And in Hawaii, there are tons of rainbows. They have really good weather conditions and water surrounding them that lets them have tons of beautiful rainbows. So we're gonna do some rainbow stretches. We're gonna do them two different ways. We're first gonna take one hand, put it on the ground next to us, put the other hand out to the side, breathe in, raise it up, and breathe out, stretch over. Nice work, let's try that on the other side. Breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, one more time, switch sides, breathe in, and breathe out. All right, and breathe in, and breathe out. Great work. Now we're going to do twisty rainbow stretches. These are fun as well. So we're going to take both of our hands and put them on one knee. All right. And then whichever hand is on top. So if you have your right knee and your left knee, bring your right hand over on top of your left hand. You can reverse it too, whatever works. And the hand that's on top, we're going to reach up as we breathe in and reach behind us as we breathe out. Reach up as we breathe in and reach in front of us as we breathe out. And we're going to pretend that we're painting a rainbow as we do this. So breathe in, paint that rainbow. Breathe out. And one more time. Breathe in, paint that rainbow, all the beautiful colors, and breathe out. Good work. Now we'll switch sides. So put both hands on the other knee. We're going to breathe in. Paint our beautiful rainbow and breathe out. Breathe in, paint it back, bring your hand in front of you. Breathe in, paint that rainbow and breathe out. And make this your biggest rainbow yet. Breathe in, bring that hand to the front of you and breathe out. Great work. So now in Hawaii, we just said that there's lots of water and it's surrounded by ocean. So we're going to move our body like the ocean. So come onto our hands and knees. We normally call this cat-cow 
but our bat kind of moves like an ocean wave. So that's what we're going to imagine today. So we're going to breathe in, pretend that wave is coming in, and then breathe out, and it's turning into a big, giant wave, and make that big curve of the wave with your bat. Do that one more time. Breathe in, feel the wave rolling in, and then breathe out. Make a big, giant curve with your back. Great job. So now we're going to keep our hands where they are, kick our feet behind us, and we're in a plank position, and then we're going to lower down like we're on our surfboard. All right. So when we go out on a surfboard, when you first go out, you have to lay down on it, and then you paddle to get out further by the waves, right? So lay on your bellies, and we're going to paddle, 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 Oh, no. <gasps> a shark. Roll on one side. Put up your fin. It's a shark. We see a shark. What should we do? We should probably swim away. Okay, back on our bellies. Swim, 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 swim. Even faster, even faster, even faster. Uh-oh, it's coming by again. Roll on the other side. There's the shark. Hey, wait a minute. That's not a shark at all. It's just a playful dolphin. We were confused. So we're going to do dolphin pose. So we're going to come up to our hands and knees, drop your elbows and your arms down, and then we push our feet back up like down dog, but we're on our forearms. And this, in yoga, is dolphin pose. Nice work. Okay, phew, that was pretty scary. I thought we were going to be a shark today, but dolphins are beautiful and fun. That was way better. So let's finish paddling up back on our bellies. Paddle, 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 paddle. And hey, there is a great wave. Let's push up, stand up, and we're going to come into warrior one. Put one leg behind you. Put one leg in front. Stand up and feel the sunshine on your face. And then we're going to start riding the wave. So we're going to turn out to warrior two server pose. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. You can move around like you're on the wave. Do you think we should do some pretty awesome tricks? I think so. We're going to reach our front hand forward, reach our back hand down our leg. Ooh, look, reverse warrior, fancy trick. And then we're going to do a super tricky one. This one might land us in the water, but we're going to give it a try. Come back onto your front leg, bring your back leg forward, and then try to balance on that front leg. Whoa! Super surfer! Good work, and come back down. Whew, that was a lot of hard work, wasn't it? Wow, it kind of looks like the waves died down a little. Let's come onto our toes. We're going to squat down on our board and then go back out on our bellies because we're going to have to paddle out again. So let's switch sides so we can do it on the other side of our body this time. Come down to your belly. Go ahead and push up a little so you can see where you're going on your surfboard. And paddle, paddle, paddle. Paddle, 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 paddle. paddle. Okay, great. Oh, I see another big wave coming. Are you ready? We're going to push up and switch legs. So whichever one you had forward last time, put it behind you this time. Good work. And rise those hands up. Oh, boy. This wave looks ginormous. Let's give it a try. We're going to push out into warrior two surfer pose and ride our wave. Okay, should we try the tricky bits? Let's put our hand up. Put our back hand down, reverse warrior, reverse surfer, and then are you ready to fly again? Bring your leg forward. We're going to try and balance. Remember, you can always grab onto a wall. You can always keep your foot down and just put your arms out as well, whatever works right for your body. But if you're ready, go ahead and try to balance, try to balance. Super surfer! Great work. Okay. And whew, that was the end of that wave. And guess what? We came all the way in to the beach. We rode all the way into the beach. All right. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? So let's sit down on the beach. Sometimes when we do some really hard work, it is nice to just take a breath, isn't it? So let's look around us. I see all sorts of beautiful nature, and I see lots of beautiful flowers. Should we try doing a flower breath together? In Hawaii, a lot of times when you see like the lays, they're made of orchids, or sometimes they might have a hibiscus decorating it, those really pretty flowers. So let's imagine we're one of those. Pick whatever color you'd like. And we're going to take our feet. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together. And you can either leave your feet right on the ground to keep yourself supported, or if you want to try a little more balance, go ahead and lift them into the air. 
and we take our hands, so I'm balancing on my bum, take our hands and put them under our legs and through, and then we squeeze our fists together and open them back up, and that's the flower bud, squeezing and opening. So as we breathe in, squeeze, and then as we breathe out, open your flower. Breathe in, squeeze, 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 breathe out, relax and let the flower open. Let's try that one more time. Breathe in, squeeze, 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 breathe out. Nice job. Way to take a good break after all that hard surfing work. All right, so when I look around me, I'm noticing all kinds of beautiful nature. I'm also noticing some beautiful sand. One of my favorite things to do in the sand is to dig my toes in. You can dig your fingers in too, but let's try doing it with our toes today. So I'm going to scooch back so you can see me. Actually, I'm going to scooch over here. That'd be easier for you to see me. And I'm going to take my toes, and I'm going to just tap them in the sand a little. Do a little tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Go ahead and see if you can balance a little. This is called boat pose. Oh, balance. Good job. Let's tap, 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 tap. And then go ahead and dig your toes in. So scrunch them on your mat or wherever you're practicing like you're digging them through the sand. This is really good work for our feet. It helps our feet be strong. It also helps them relax after we've been on them for things like surfing or walking all day. And then we're going to try something. Take your foot and plant it on the ground. Lift your toes up, just your toes. Keep the feet on the ground. And then try to put them down one by one. So start at your pinky toe, set it down. Then your fourth toe, your middle toe, your second toe, and your big toe. Sometimes the big toe wants to come down first. Great work. Okay, let's try that one more time. And pretend you're digging them into the sand. We're going to lift our toes up, and then we're going to go in the opposite direction. So this time, just put down that big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, and the pinky. For me, it was harder to do it in that direction than it was to start at the pinky. So everybody's different, but that's a really fun way to practice. Warm up those feet and those toes. And if you do go to the beach this summer, give it a try in the real sand. It's really fun to feel your toes digging in and doing all that different little, we call it toga. It's really fun. All right. So now we've been sitting here on the beach. We felt our toes and our fingers in the sand. We've been admiring the flowers. I think we should go for a little bit of a walk. What do you think? I think that'd be really beautiful. So we're gonna stand up. And one of the cool things is in Hawaii, there's all different colors of sandy beaches. There's green sand and the white sand. There's also black sand. So I think we should imagine that we're on a black sand beach. And we were just digging our toes in the soft sand. The black sand comes from volcanic ash. That's why it's black. And it's a lot coarser. It means it feels rougher, more like sand, papery, and thicker little pebbles of sand. All right, so go ahead and imagine that under your feet. And then let's go for a walk. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. <gasps> I see a shell. Should we bend down and get it? Going to raise our arms up, fold over at our hips. Go ahead and reach that shell. Scoop it up. And then why don't we hold it up into the sun to see how beautiful it is. Oh, wow. Okay, let's keep walking. Walking, walking, walking. <gasps> oh, there's some sea glass. I love sea glass because it's glass that's gotten weathered so it's smooth but it's beautiful and shimmery in the sun. Let's bend down and get some. What color do you think yours is? It's usually clear or whitish or blue or green. I think I'm going to pick up a blue piece. So again, arms up, bend over at our hips, pick up your piece of glass, give it a look, and then oh, we can put it maybe in our pocket or just set it next to us in the sand. We don't really want to take things from the environment. And what do you see out there ahead of us? I see volcanoes. Remember we just said that the volcanic ash is what makes this sand black, this beach black. Let's do volcano pose together. So bring your legs a little further apart and put your arms wide and you're making a big volcano shape with your body. And with volcanoes or next to volcanoes, there's also often mountains. Volcanoes really do look like mountains, don't they? So we're going to bring our feet together, heel toe and bring our arms down at our side for a strong mountain pose. Nice work. So let's keep walking. And what's something that you notice a lot at the beach, especially if it's a tropical beach? I notice all the beautiful trees. 
there are beautiful palm trees swaying everywhere. They're great to sit under for some shade, and they also make a really nice sound when you hear their palm fronds going in the wind. Let's pretend that we're palm trees. So we're going to plant one foot on the ground, and I'm going to show you three options to be a palm tree. You can put the, your other foot right on the lower part of your leg and kind of make it a kickstand and be a palm tree this way, and you're fully on the ground. You can also hold onto a wall or some furniture if you need some extra support. You can bring your foot to the lower part of your leg and be a tree this way, or as long as you're nice and careful, bring it all the way in and have your leg up here like a tall tree. So any of those three options are good. We just don't want it on our knee because we could kick our knee out and get hurt, all right? So kickstand right up on the lower part of your leg or all the way up high. And then if you feel stable, you can bring your hands to your heart or you can let your palm fronds get wide and wave in the ocean breeze. Nice work. And since there are so many palm trees around, let's try this on the other side as well. So go ahead and put your leg down, shake it out. Good job. And we're gonna try it on the other side. We'll be a tree on the other side. And just remember that from day to day, your body is different and both sides of your body can feel different. So one leg you might feel super strong on, the other one you might be really wobbly. That's totally normal. Our bodies are not exactly even halves. So go ahead and do the kickstand, pretend that foot's the roots. Put it on your lower part of your leg or go ahead and pull it all the way up. Nice work. And then again, see? A little tippy, you can always correct it. You can grab the wall. Go ahead and put your hands at your heart. Or go ahead and wave those palm fronds in the breeze. You can get really crazy wavy arms. Maybe it's more of a still moment and you just stand tall like a tree. Good work. And then nice and slowly and gently come back down. Good job. All right. So we're pretty much done with our nature walk. I actually see a really great spot over there. It looks really cozy. Do you know who likes to be on the black sand beaches or really any beaches? The sea turtles of Hawaii. They like to come out of the water and sun themselves so that their bodies can get warm. So I thought we'd try turtle pose as our last pose for the walk. So we're going to take our legs, put them apart, and then similar to how we did flower when we were like this, we're doing that same motion with our feet on the ground and bringing our legs out. You can spider finger arms out. Spider finger crawl those arms out and then fold over as much as you're able and you kind of make your body into this turtley shape. And don't push so it hurts. If you just want to stay right here, that's great. If your body folds more or if your head even comes towards the ground, that's great too. Just take a nice deep breath in and let it all out like you're a relaxing turtle. Great job. All right. So guess what I just spotted? This might be the perfect way to end an afternoon on the beach. I see a smoothie shop over there. Do you think we should help them make our smoothies? I do too. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that our bodies are the blenders. So take your hands, put them on your shoulders. You're going to turn and twist this way like your hands are the choppy blades of the blender. And then we're going to add a few different fruits. Now, if there's a fruit that I say that you don't like, just pretend it's not that fruit and pretend it's a fruit you like. If I say bananas and you're like, ugh. Yuck, bananas, those are not my favorite. Make it mangoes or cherries or berries, whatever you like, all right? So let's take our hands, put them on the blender, and it goes like this. We're gonna make a smoothie, make, make a smoothie. Yeah, we'll make a smoothie, make, make a smoothie. First, we need, let's do bananas, we were just talking about them. Let's pick bananas, pick, pick bananas. Yeah, we'll pick bananas, pick, pick bananas, then, We'll peel bananas, peel the bananas. Yeah, we'll peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. And should we put them in whole? They might go in okay, maybe we should chop them up a little. Then we'll chop bananas, chop, chop bananas. Switch hands, chop bananas, chop, chop bananas. Then we plop bananas, plop, plop bananas. Then we, arms up, blend bananas, blend, blend bananas. And then what do we want? Let's see, how about mangoes? We will pick the mangoes, pick, pick some mangoes. Yeah, we'll pick the mangoes, pick, pick some mangoes. Then we peel the mangoes, peel, peel the mangoes, peel the mangoes, peel, peel the mangoes. Then we gotta chop them again. Then we chop the mangoes, chop, chop the mangoes. Yeah, we chop 
the mangoes, chop, chop the mangoes. Then we scoop the mangoes and plop the mangoes. Yeah, we'll scoop the mangoes and plop the mangoes. Then we blend the mangoes, blend, blend the mangoes. Yeah, we blend the mangoes, blend, blend the mangoes. Let's see, we should do one more fruit. What should we do? Maybe we could do some strawberries and some coconut. That seems kind of Hawaii-like. Then we'll pick the berries, pick, pick the berries. Don't really need to chop those. So we'll plop the berries, plop, plop the berries. Then we'll pick the coconut, pick, pick the coconut. Yeah, we'll pick the coconut, pick, pick the coconut. Then we need to crack the coconut, crack, crack the coconut. Then we chop the coconut, chop, chop the coconut. Then we plop the coconut, plop, plop the coconut. And then finally we blend the coconut, blend, blend the coconut. And we blend the berries, blend, blend the berries. Maybe we should add a little bit of juice. Pick your favorite juice. Since we're in Hawaii, I think I'm gonna use pineapple juice. This will make it nice and smooth. Glug, 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 glug. Maybe make sure to do a little more on this side. Glug, 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 glug. Put that lid on one more time and blend the smoothie. Blend, blend the smoothie. Yeah, we'll blend the smoothie. Blend, blend the smoothie. And then we get to take it off, take the lid off, pour ourselves a cup, and then make a straw face with your lips. So squeeze your lips together and pretend you're sucking up the smoothie. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, say yum. Nice job. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Straw lips and breathe out. Yum. Great work. That was so much fun making the smoothie with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Mine was delicious. So now we are almost at the very end of our class. We had such a fun time in Hawaii together. And one way I really like to end a day on the beach is with a beach campfire. Now, don't worry, we found a safe spot. There's the rocks in a circle, so they're all set to have a campfire for us. And what I like to do is also campfire breathing. So go ahead and bring your hands to your belly and imagine you have a warm little campfire right in your belly. And as you breathe in, it heats up. You can feel the heat. And then as you breathe out, feel all the heat surrounding you, making you feel warm and cozy. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Feel your little campfire and then breathe out. Feel all that heat, warmth, and coziness. Good job. So now we're going to make sure that we're warm by the campfire and find a nice little spot to lay down in the sand. So go ahead and come down to the ground. Stretch out. Maybe stretch your arms over your head. Stretch your legs out. Good job, get a real big stretch. And then bring your arms down at your side and let your feet just relax. And we're gonna pretend that we're looking up at the stars and we see all the beautiful constellations. Maybe there's a full moon and it's glistening off the ocean. And we just take some nice deep breaths and we feel our body really relaxing into the sand. The sand is still warm from the, the hot day of the summer and the sun. And we feel the warmth of the campfire on our bodies as well. And as we breathe in, we just feel all our muscles relaxing. Go ahead and scrunch your hands into fists and breathe in. And as you breathe out, let your fingers relax all the way into the sand. Let's try that with our feet. Go ahead and scrunch your toes in like we were doing this beach toga. Breathe in and then breathe out and relax your feet down into the sand. You can try it with your face too. Scrunch all the muscles in your face as you breathe in. Like have a scrunchy, silly face. And as you breathe out, let your whole face relax. And we can try that one time with our entire body. And this is something you can do even when you're getting ready for bed. Do this scrunch and release. So let's scrunch up all the muscles in our body, our legs and our arms and our back and our face. And then breathe out and feel it relax all the way into your mat, into the sand below your body. And then we'll just take a couple breaths and see how relaxed we can make our body feel. Job. 
Now on your next breath in, you can start to roll over to one side. Put your hand like a pillow beneath your head and curl up your body like a little baby. Take a breath in here and breathe out. And then go ahead and start to push back up to sitting. Great work today. I hope you all had so much fun. We're going to bring our hands together at our heart and we're going to sing our goodbye song. My inner light, it shines for you. Your inner light is shining too. The beauty in me sees the beauty in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you really enjoy your summer and have a great time.